Hello, this is Curtis from TI. I'm going to be going over the Visualizing Quadratic Expressions uh, file from the Building Concepts Project on the Texas Instruments website. In this lesson, we'll um, talk a little bit about how this file works and maybe how you can use it with uh, your students. So you'll open up the TNS file um, that you can download from the Texas Instruments website. I'll show you briefly where to find uh, this lesson and any of the others in the Building Concepts uh, folder. So um, on the Texas Instruments website, underneath of the drop-down tab, Activities, there's this section called Building Concepts in Mathematics. If you click on that and then you look right here, there's a whole series of them, but if you look right here uh, under Expressions and Equations, this will be uh, where this lesson is found. And underneath of the very last one here, Visualizing Quadratic Expressions, that's where this TNS document uh, is found along with a whole bunch of teacher supporting documents. We'll look at those uh, here in just a minute. But first, let's look at the TI Inspire uh, activity. So we're going to we're going to grab this this page. Um, when you open the document, um, you can navigate to page uh, 1.2. It gives you some instructions as to how to use um, the file. Basically, it's just clicking a, a, a color tab and then selecting the algebra tiles. And so your students are going to be proposed um, with matching this uh, virtual um, area model with um, with an algebraic model. Uh, and trying to, to write those different expressions in different ways. And so you can actually get your students to um, explore that. You'll notice that uh, the hand comes up whenever you get up here close to the edges of the X. Um, and that's just to show that this um, X is in fact a variable uh, width. So that number is not just a fixed value, but it's actually a true variable. Um, and then um, these colors, these paint colors up here are selectable. You can use those with your mouse, just like you would use it. Click um, with your left click on the, on the mouse here and then drag. The same thing is going to be true up here. If you just click the colors up here, you'll see you get a little pencil and uh, you can click on the algebra tiles and separate them. Um, and all the tiles of one color will be grouped together. And so we'll use this as a model for building equivalent expressions. As you guys can see, this is x squared plus 2x plus 1, um, which is an equivalent expression to the uh, original x plus 1 squared. Um, the reset button, you can use that to get back to uh, normal uh, right away. But uh, students can really play uh, with the differing uh, representations here and get all different sorts of um, visual representations of this particular model. And we'll explore those in the student video. On page uh, 1.5, it behaves the same way, only you have a new problem. It's x plus 2 times x plus 1. And we explore that uh, even further. Um, if you want some more types of questions, because really our, our whole purpose here was to, to get students to connect the area model uh, that's shown here with the algebraic expression uh, that's shown um, by writing this down on a, on a piece of paper. Um, and we really want students just um, looking at that and seeing the, the distributive property of multiplication and going across there. Um, and making those connections and, and seeing the connections among all of the different kinds of expressions here and thinking very carefully about the ways that they can uh, visualize this. For example, and I'll just give you one quick example before uh, I leave you with some teacher documents. Um, so students could or might be asked to maybe um, play with an expression that looks uh, maybe like this and, and get the students to maybe think about um, not just those easy first few um, ones, like uh, maybe getting, uh, I don't know, this, this expression where we've got x squared plus 3x plus 2, right? That's the one maybe we, we would uh, originally maybe expect our kids to get to, but um, maybe getting them to think a little bit more about a, a more difficult or, or maybe a deeper concept, but really connecting this visual representation, noting that we've got this chunk of the, of the visual model that's missing here and connecting that to how we find the areas of these kinds of visual models and recognizing that, hey, we can really do this x plus 1 uh, times x plus 1 and then subtract off 
this chunk here, which is in fact what x minus one, um, which is the area of that little white space there. So really getting this expression written down uh, algebraically and getting students to really connect that is the goal uh, of this activity. So um, take a little bit of time and play with it. If you go to the to the Texas Instruments website, um, you can download some teacher uh, notes, which are very thorough. Um, give you lots and lots of ideas. I'll show you the PDF here for briefly just for a second. So there's uh, a significant amount of background information here um, showing the the lesson and kind of the way this thing was structured, uh, giving you some mathematical background, some reading for you prior to uh, assigning this, and then maybe some questions um, and discussion questions um, that could be posed to your students virtually or or face to face in your classroom, depending on how you're using this. Um, and there's just a lot of questions in here. They're not necessarily expected that you would ask all of those questions, um, but getting your students to describe and think and talk um, with you or reflect in a in a journal or something like that um, will really give them some some good deep insight into this uh, visualizing quadratic expressions and making connections between the area model uh, that we show in this in this uh, problem and then the uh, the algebraic expression that's handwritten. If you need any more uh, resources, you can always check us out at uh, Texas Instruments Education on our YouTube channel, or you can look at uh, www.education.ti.com. Thank you very much.